Hi, my name's Charlotte and I'm currently working as a teaching fellow. I've just sat the MSRA as part of my application for emergency medicine. MSRA stands for Multi-Specialty Recruitment Assessment. It's a computer-based exam which is taken by those wishing to apply for specialty training. The specialties which are required to take this exam include, but are not limited to, GP, obstetrics and gynaecology, paediatrics, and this year for those wishing to apply for emergency medicine training as well. The idea is to assess both clinical knowledge and professional behaviour for those at the level of a foundation trainee. The exam is split into two halves. First, the professional development paper, which is similar to the SJT for those who are familiar with that exam. There are 50 questions in this section, including eight pilot questions that won't count towards your final mark. And you're given 95 minutes to complete this first paper. After this, there's an optional five minute break. Once the break is finished, you will attempt the clinical problem solving paper. This is made up of 97 questions, including 11 pilots, and you're given 75 minutes to complete it. There are four main types of question that appear in the MSRA. In the professional development paper, you'll first tackle a number of ranking questions in which you're usually asked to rank the available options from most appropriate to least appropriate in order. After this, you'll be given questions with more potential answers and asked to pick the three most appropriate actions. In the clinical problem solving paper, there are also two main types of question. The first are the extended matching questions. In these, you're given a long list of potential answers and given a series of questions using the same list each time picking the most appropriate answer from the options available. Secondly, there are the single best answer questions, where you'll be given a shorter list of potential answers and asked to pick the most appropriate one for each question. In terms of marking, the most important thing to know about the MSRA is that there is no negative marking in either paper. Not every candidate sits the same paper, and so after the exam is completed, marks are standardised in a way that is designed to account for any variation in difficulty of each paper. There are plenty of question banks available designed for revision for the MSRA. For my revision this year, I used a variety of question banks, including past med, past test and MCQ bank, based on recommendations from those who had sat the exam in previous years. In terms of which resources I would recommend, if you're looking for challenging questions on a range of clinical specialties, then PassMed is probably the question bank for you. I think most people who use multiple question banks said that they found PassMed's questions the toughest. If you're looking for a question bank that includes a mobile app option, making it good for revision on the go, then PassTest has a great app that I found useful for just that. I also really liked their professional development questions and found that they didn't seem to contradict each other like on some of the other question banks. In terms of the question bank that I found most similar to the exam, I'd recommend MCQ Bank. Some of the questions felt a lot simpler than the other question banks, but it definitely felt similar to the exam. In terms of my top tips for preparing for the MSRA, I'd say definitely make sure not to neglect specialties like paediatrics and obs and gynae, as there does seem to be quite a strong emphasis on these. Make sure that if you're running out of time, it, the exam is very tight for time, but if you're running out of time, then make sure to answer all the questions. There's no negative markings, so it's not going to hurt you to at least have a go. Um, remember, if you get stuck or there's anything that you don't understand, there's a glossary of terms which is linked in the exam. I made use of this myself this year when there was a term that I didn't quite know exactly what the meaning was. I think it's probably most useful in the professional development paper. Um, definitely, if you haven't sat an online exam before, then you can practice using exactly the same computer interface as you use at the test centres online before you even rock up to the exam. And that's definitely good in terms of familiarising yourself with the controls, so you're not worried about that element on the exam day. Um, and lastly, obviously we've talked a lot about the exam here, but if you want more in-depth information, then there's an online PDF, which is the called the MSRA Applicant Guide. Um, I would definitely have a read through of that. It's got example questions. It's got lots of information about what exactly you can expect from the exam. Um, and it's definitely worth a read before you start preparing. So there it is. Thanks for taking the time to listen. Hope it helped and good luck in the exam.